An escalating fight between the state of Texas and the Biden administration is playing out over a proposed plan that would force migrants who enter the country illegally to remain in Texas while they await asylum. But tonight, we are seeing a developing feud between the mayor of Chicago and the mayor of New York, as those two major cities are coming up with different solutions to handle the influx of migrants. Just this weekend, Chicago had five buses of migrants sent from Texas. Already, thousands are currently sleeping at police stations and airports in the Windy City. Chicago's mayor has a new proposal to put up base camp style tents for migrants around the city. News Nation's Emily Finn live for us in Chicago tonight. Emily, does the city have just nowhere to house these incoming migrants? Natasha, that's absolutely correct. Uh, there are currently zero beds left at the shelters that are set up in the city for migrants that are bussed in at, on buses that you can see here behind me and flown in from states like Texas, um, leaving thousands stranded at police stations like this. We had a chance to speak with some of the migrants here today uh, who say that the conditions are very crowded. They receive no help once they get here. They're only allowed to sleep here at night and the rest of the day they need to be outside. Uh, they express concerns. You can see there's many children running around here and the children are being exposed to the elements, exposed to the sun all day, stuck in the rain. Uh, many here are from Venezuela, but according to uh, the CBP, uh, there are rep the migrants are representing at least 160 nationalities um, that have been interacted with by officials along the southern border. So the language barriers with all these different languages really poses a significant challenge, uh, as does the overcrowding. But as you mentioned, Natasha, Chicago Mayor Brandon Do Johnson does say that he has a solution for this. Uh, he wants to build large tents uh, that he says are winterized base camps. But the city is receiving some pushback uh, for this plan as the brutal Chicago winter is just months away. is to move with expediency families out of police stations into housing and shelter that's more suitable. To address the influx of migrants, Chicago Mayor Brandon Johnson says he plans to build large tents he describes as, quote, winterized base camps in the coming months to move at least 1,600 asylum seekers away from the police stations. Over the past year, more than 13,000 migrants have been sent to Chicago from states like Texas. The city is operating at least 18 temporary shelters, many at hotels downtown, currently housing almost 7,000 occupants. Another 2,000 are at Chicago's O'Hare Airport and police stations scattered throughout the city. While Johnson is vowing to continue welcoming asylum seekers, New York City Mayor Eric Adams has had enough, as the city has received more than 110,000 migrants in the past year. This issue will destroy New York City. Destroy New York City. And at this police station in Chicago, the lobby is cleared out once a day for cleaning because some of the migrants are reporting uh, bed bugs and lice. Uh, earlier last week, we were at Chicago's O'Hare Airport, which is also hosting hundreds of migrants at this time. Um, and there were children that were getting sick, uh, they said, from the food that they were receiving. Uh, they were vomiting. Uh, you know, families were sleeping on the floor. Families are sleeping on the floor here as well. Uh, these are all just examples that the migrants tell us uh, that the city of Chicago is unprepared to deal with the influx that they've been seeing uh, in the recent months, Natasha. Okay, Emily Finn with that live report in Chicago. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.